from Madison Square Garden in New York City. ABC brings you live and in color the final and climactic game in this exciting NBA championship series. Tonight, the Los Angeles Lakers, a team continually frustrated in championship play, faced by their superstars Wilt Chamberlain, Jerry West, and Elgin Baylor, meet the New York Knicks seeking their first NBA championship with their hopes resting on the injured leg of their captain, Willis Reed. Here on New York's west side, tonight is the one-game showdown as New York and Los Angeles are tied after six games in their best-of-seven title series. Los Angeles hopes resting on a performance like that of Wednesday night in tying the series. New York hoping that Willis Reed will play and can be effective. At 6 p.m. New York time, the New York Knickerbocker captain took the floor for a preliminary warm-up, the first time he had shot the basketball since Monday when he was injured. He was watched carefully by Coach Red Holtzman, who in turn talked to ABC reporter Howard Cosell. Fred with Willis Reed working out in the background. A, how long will he play, and what do you suspect his measure of efficiency will be? Howard, that, that's very hard to say. We're going to watch him warm up now, and then we'll watch him uh, in the pregame warm-ups, and then we'll watch what he does at the beginning of the game. And, of course, that will determine uh, what he does. Now, uh, so far, the doctors told us that he can try to play. He's able to try to play without uh, any future injury, any uh, future problem. So he will, uh, he will play, but uh, it will have to be based on what his efficiency is. If he can help us, then we'll let him play. Obviously, if he can help us, there's no sense in him being out there because we would uh, treat him just like any other player. But uh, knowing Willis, I know he's going to give it a great shot, and uh, I, I think we can expect some help from him. Could you win without him? Execute a miracle such as Monday night pass. Well, I, I uh, have to be optimistic. I have to think that we could win without him. But uh, I'd like to uh, try to win with him if we can. Now, the Lakers are a very, very tough ball club uh, with or without Willis. So uh, in any case, it's going to be a tough job, even if he was at 100% capacity. Fred, thank you very much. Good luck to you. Win or lose, you've had a superb season. Thank you, Howard. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chris Shankle, and my colleague on the NBA Game of the Week and in this playoff series, Jack Twyman. And Jack, 19,500 fans here in New York City uh, have yet to see Willis Reed at this hour of the evening that is very critical we heard red holzman say he expected him to start we just had an announcement uh, from the press row that willis has just received 200 cc of cortisone now i've had cortisone myself and i think we see willis coming out there he comes right now six feet ten from grambling the captain of the next the most valuable player of the nba It's a standing ovation at the new Madison Square Garden. This is a 38 sellout crowd, and they have been reacting to their Knickerbockers the same way all season long. And he has hit two in a row, and they are beside themselves. At the opposite end, the Los Angeles Lakers are hitting them too. So in this one game season, Jack Twyman, um, I know the fans will enjoy our coverage from the Garden in New York. And this crowd is awfully loud. Will that help the Knickerbockers? Well, if ever there was a key, it's Willis Reed. And the fans in the background are cheering every shot he makes. It is questionable, Chris. And as I was saying, the longer he was in there, the more difficult it became. There we look at Reed warming up. The longer he was in there being worked on, the more difficult it's going to be for him to start fresh. That leg has to be warmed up. He's been in the dressing room, and you saw him come out on the floor. So they're going to have to get that leg warmed up, and how effective he will be remains to be seen. Jack, the other night at the Forum in Los Angeles, he watched the whole game, street clothes, and he saw an awesome performance by Wilt Chamberlain. Well, I think in that particular game, we saw how important Willis Reed was to the New York Knickerbockers. The fact that Willis, with his tremendous strength, I think are, is one of the few players in the league that can keep Chamberlain off the board. And you saw how much the Knickerbockers missed Willis in that last ball game. But there are other key players in, the, in this series. Uh, the great game that Will Chamberlain played the other night, 45 points, 27 rebounds. Reed at 100% efficiency. If Chamberlain plays the way he played on Wednesday night's game, it's going to be tough to beat this Los Angeles ball club. Jack, I'd like to say, along with all the fans, that uh, I think Jerry West is a superstar. Walt Frazier, uh, 
is a great team leader on on offense for the next look at the way Garrett started out the ball game the other night he got the Lakers flying right at the first quarter uh, shot them to a 20 point lead at the end of the first quarter so he has to be guarded a little more closely well we hope you're comfortable wherever you are because there have been six games played in this championship series the Lakers uh, were on the verge of elimination and then won seven straight against Phoenix and Atlanta to get into this series against New York and uh, they don't want to be eliminated tonight as we look at the back of Jerry West number 44 that great star of the Los Angeles Lakers and West is resting you know we've been out here the, the Lakers came out uh, about 15 after 7 anticipating a normal 730 starting time so West has been warming up a long time and he's conserving that en energy we'll return to Madison Square Garden in New York for player introductions in just one moment Willis Reed still moving around in a walk, not a run or a jog or a trot, Jack. As we announced, Chris, he was shot with 200 cc of cortisone. Now, what Willis is doing right now is trying to get that cortisone circulating through that injured muscle. It acts as kind of a numbing agent, but it also helps the blood move around. I've had a few myself, and it takes a long time to get it circulating. And it was announced that he was just a few minutes ago before we saw him come out on the floor shot with the cortisone. So what Willis is doing now, you notice he's not doing anything dramatic. He just wants to get that stuff blowing around in there and get himself warmed up. Well, neither team uh, needs uh, much additional motivation tonight because in addition to the title at stake is $48,000, which will be added to the previous playoff money and the season money, and it's a sizable chunk that can be split up. And there's Reed now loping toward the Knickerbocker bench, which is to our left, and tonight the Knicks will be in white with their blue and orange trim. But it'll be the forum blue and yellow of the Los Angeles Lakers. Players like Elgin Baylor, who have been in seven championship series, yet to win a title. Jerry West has been involved in six. Will Chamberlain has tasted championship when he was with the Philadelphia 76ers in 1967, so he does know what it's like. But he is one of the most frustrated of the Lakers because Jack Kent Cook, the owner, got together three superstars in hopes of winning a title for the sports fans in the Los Angeles, California area, and believe me, they are terrific fans. Here in New York, uh, except for the New York Mets and the New York football giants when they won in 1956, they have really come to life, and you'll hear what I mean tonight. In the background, you hear John Condon introducing Elgin Baylor. Keith Erickson. Here's Keith Erickson. He's done a terrific and job guarding Bill Bradley in this series. Will Chamberlain. Guards, number 20, Dick Garrett. And here is Garrett moving out and slowly, getting a round of applause from his Jerry teammate West. Chamberlain. And here's Jerry West. And the, uh, and the coach partial Lakers, crowd gives Joe Jerry Lightning. a big hand, and they certainly should. Now the New York Knickerbockers. And now here they are, the New York Knickerbockers. <laughs> At the forwards, number 22, Dave DeBusher. And now the audience stands and applauds Dave DeBusher. Number 24, Bill Bradley. Now at here's center, this. Number 19, Captain Willis for Willis Reed. That's the type of applause that has been reserved for boxers like Sugar Ray Robinson in the Old Garden, Tony Zale and Rocky Graziano, and a host of other great fighters. So there are the Knickerbockers, the Knicks coach by Red Holtzman, coach of the year, and a first-year coach, Joe Mullaney, a great one, from the Lakers. Now with Eddie Layton at the console of the Mighty Organ here in Madison Square Garden, let's listen to our national anthem.
That was Eddie Layton at the organ, and now let's look at the matchup of tonight's one-game championship game. There you see the key matchup, of course, is Will Chamberlain and Willis Reed. But uh, Walt Frazier is going to have to play Dick Garrett a little more closely than he did in the last game because it was Garrett who jumped the Lakers out to a fast lead, and they're going to have to pay a little bit more attention to uh, Garrett. Barnett has been doing a great job on West, as has Keith Erickson on Bill Bradley, Dave DeBusher, and Elgin Baylor renewing their head-on-head -head battle. The home-and-home -home series in the first six games split. Los Angeles won at home just Wednesday night, and on Monday night, the Knickerbockers won here. Neither team has won two in a row. As we look at the New York Knickerbockers in white, there is Willis Reed, number nine. The official is Richie Powers. Mendy Rudolph, the other official. And in reserve, referee Don Murphy. Mindy Rudolph and Richie Powers, who have covered this series the last three games, will now uh, get ready to move into the center circle with, uh, along with Reed on the left, number 19, Chamberlain, the handshake, the sweat man around his brow. Richie Powers throws it up. Chamberlain gets control. Willis Reed did not try to get off the floor. Now it's Garrett who has the ball for Los Angeles, number 20. Number 22 is Elgin Baylor. Guarded by DeBusher, and Baylor's shot is short. It's taken by Bill Bradley, then a fast break to Walt Frazier. Frazier then slows it down, is picked up by Jerry West at the top of the post, Reed. Yeah! Willis Reed scores the first bucket here tonight in New York leads. And Reed has scored that bucket, but he's not running. He's going to take his time to warm that leg up. And there you see him getting help from Bill Bradley as the ball was tossed in west to Chamberlain. Bradley commits the foul, and Chamberlain will go to the line. The man who scored 45 points on Wednesday night to lead the Lakers to victory. Standing about three feet away from the foul line. Off it comes. Chamberlain fakes a pass. Gives quickly to Garrett. Garrett on a jump, fadeaway jumper. No good. Chamberlain gets the ball. Up and... Good. So the scores tied. The two centers have made the first two baskets. And Reed wasn't even down there to contest Chamberlain. As we see the ball intercepted from Bradley by Garrett, but there you see Willis Reed. He did not even come down to try and get the rebound. So Reed is really taking his time getting that leg loosened up. He better not take too much time, Chris. Now he moves his right leg up and down, and I notice, uh, Jack, that as he stops, he puts the weight on his left foot as we will have uh, Bill Bradley at the line, having been fouled by number 20, Garrett of Los Angeles. Dick Garrett of Southern Illinois from Princeton University. Bill Bradley. And the Knicks lead, three to two. We have 11 minutes and five seconds remaining in the first quarter. And uh, Elgin Baylor has come back to help bring that ball up court, across the divisional line, gets a screen from Jerry West. He Erickson is on the opposite side as Chamberlain has the ball working on Reed now. He's probably trying to be mobile to make Reed move around. Instead passes it out to Baylor, closely guarded by DeBusher. Baylor. And we have a foul called on Elgin Baylor. And the Lakers, as they were Monday night in that upset win by New York, are standing around trying to get the ball into Chamberlain so he can try Willis Reed. And Reed now is outside. There's his second shot. He is two for two. Willis Reed. Look at him limp. He opted into the court, trying to stay with Chamberlain. And let's see if the Los Angeles Rams will really take advantage of it. They throw it into Chamberlain. It's five to two New York. Chamberlain comes around. It's up. And on the play is fouled by Willis Reed, who was very quick. Willis headed toward the opposite end of the court as though he thought he would shoot it. Now he comes over to the Knickerbocker bench. Coach Red Holtzman has shouted something to him. Willis is just going to the opposite end now, getting set up for defense. As we look at Will Chamberlain, the Lakers got themselves in trouble Monday night when they stopped everything as he misses that free throw and tried to concentrate on getting it in. They left their game plan, and that's what got them in trouble Monday evening. Chamberlain now has missed three as we have Bill Bradley driving. Giving over in the corner to Reed. There's the pusher. Now we have Walt Frazier faking Erickson. And Erickson, with the crowd moaning, will foul him on the play. Let's watch again. There's Walt Frazier 
brilliantly faking Keith Erickson. Erickson contacts him right there. There's the foul. Walt Frazier on the line. Erickson's first foul. Here's Walt Frazier. And New York now leads by four points with 10 minutes and 10 seconds first quarter. So it's seven to two and the press for the Knickerbockers. This is rookie Garrett. And look at Walt Frazier trying to steal it. Keith Erickson in the far corner guarded by Bill Bradley. Erickson moving in toward the bucket. The rebound comes off to Frazier. Frazier loops one over to DeBusher. DeBusher at the top of the key. Beautiful shot and the Knicks took a seven point lead and the Lakers call for a timeout. There's a timeout here at Madison Square Garden in New York City with the score, Knickerbockers 9, Lakers 2. Willis Reed, number 19, coming out on the floor with the other four Knickerbockers as New York leads 9 to 2. And as we look at Reed, he is limping, but what a lift he has given this New York ball club. That Chris, and along with this tremendous crowd, this crowd can really inspire a ball club, and they've intimidated the Lakers and given tremendous inspiration for the Knickerbockers. And now the ball goes from West to Chamberlain. Chamberlain looks for Erickson. Erickson comes over to Baylor with the ball. Baylor in the foul circle, bounces one back to Erickson. The pressing defense of the Knicks. And Chamberlain couldn't make it, so Erickson battles for the rebound. On the far side, it goes to Baylor, and Baylor's shot is good. New York from the field is three for three. Frazier did shoot, missed, he was fouled, so that shot does not count. They are three for three from the foul line. As we look now at Dick Barnett, number 12, Frazier, number 10. On the far side, 22 to Busher. The top of the key, Bill Bradley, number 24. They are four for four from the field. 11 to four. They lead. Eight minutes, 55 seconds to go. First quarter at Madison Square Garden. Erickson bringing the ball in. Picked up by Bradley, whose hands keep moving. Look at that defense. It is really tough. And it's bothering the Lakers because on Wednesday night there they forced them into a walking play so the Knickerbockers with that tight defense caused a turnover and the Lakers turned the ball over again the tight pressing defense is working there's Walt Frazier number 10 under the basket Barnett has it knocked away good work by the Lakers number 22 Baylor gives over to Erickson Reed uh, goes down slowly and Jerry West shot right over him Reed could not get up and try to knock down the ball. Now it's 11 to 6. 8.23 to go, first quarter. As Walt Frazier brings it in. He's guarded by Garrett, as you see, number 20. And he is fouled. Garrett now has two personals. Richie Powers indicating the foul, number 20. As we see West, number 44. And Frazier is at the line for New York. Meanwhile, Reed goes to the opposite end, along with Keith Erickson. Leaving Chamberlain at the defensive board, along with Baylor. <laughs> Frazier is four for four from the foul line as they take a seven-point lead. We look at Elgin Baylor, number 22, guarded by 22 and White, DeBusher. And listen to that intimidating crowd. Jerry West, gar guarded by Barnett. And the ball comes off to DeBusher. Barnett moving quickly. And there you saw Dave DeBusher's second field goal, and a most unusual one for him. It's 15 to 6. Garrett, number 20. And it goes to Chamberlain. And you see Walt Frazier is very aware as well. Loses the ball, Will Sweet gets it. But Walt Frazier is guarding Dick Garrett much closer than he was Wednesday evening. Like a bunch of gnats swarming the Nick defense. Now they're having a little trouble hanging on to the ball. Reed loses it. Chamberlain pressuring him. And there he goes. West shot is rebounded by Chamberlain. Walt Frazier was with Jerry West defensively. So we have a 15 to 8 ball game at the seven minute mark of the first quarter. Reed at the foul line. Gives off to Bradley. 
Bradley moving uh, sprightly here tonight, more so than Wednesday night. And you notice Will Chamberlain has to come out on Willis Reed, and it opens up the inside as Bill Bradley drove through. So Willis, just in the lineup, is forcing Chamberlain to come out from underneath. Elgin Baylor now gets another field goal. Number 22, so it's 17 to 10. About six and a half minutes remaining. New York from the field, six for six. Bradley to Barnett. Chamberlain coming off with the ball and Reed. Let's see if it was loose ball or a loose ball, a loose ball foul on Willis Reed. And that is his second foul of the evening. Of course, the loose ball foul was called because Chamberlain did not have possession of the ball. Jerry West trying to break up the Busher's drive, passing off to Frazier. Barnett. Rebound comes off to Quick Frazier. 19 to 10. Garrett now trying to move the Lakers quickly into the attacking zone. Chamberlain gets into his position as Garrett comes around in the lane. Two points for Garrett. 19 to 12. On the far side, it's Bill Bradley, number 24, guarded by Erickson. And the Busher shot up and in. And the Busher has a hot hand for New York. Acquired a year ago, and he has made a big difference in the New York entry of the NBA. Jerry West, number 44. Barnett guarding him. Erickson battling for the rebound. Good job. Tenacious. Keith Erickson, number 24 in blue. It's 21-14 now. Five-minute mark. First quarter. Walt Frazier. Garrett trying to uh, steal the ball. Basket counts. And it'll be Frazier going to the line. And the foul is called on Garrett, who now has three. And as we see Walt Frazier at the line, we see the Knickerbockers going to Frazier more. That, that's doing two things. It's organizing the Knickerbocker attack, but it's also keeping Garrett very occupied, not allowing him to roam around as he did on Wednesday. As we see Frazier make it. Okay, Jack. Frazier now with nine points. It's 24-14, the largest lead of 10. 4.54, first quarter. This is Jerry West driving on Barnett. Trying to get close, to get that ball in the hoop. Good bank shot by the great star. 24 to 16. West now has four points for Los Angeles. Barnett to DeBusher, number 22. Now Bradley and Reed. Chamberlain gets that rebound, his sixth of the night. That's Barnett trying to get in on Jerry West. Reed waits for Chamberlain. Now uh, goes deep with him as West drives. Fakes Barnett out of position. Tough break on the goal, and Reed gets the rebound. And Reed now trying to hustle to the opposite end. Sets up a pick. Frazier goes the opposite way, and Frazier has 11. 26 to 16, 350 left in the first quarter. Erickson, or rather, Jerry West. Around the Baylor screen. Now into Wilt Chamberlain. And Walt Frazier in good position. Rebounds for New York. His fourth of the evening. The Busher shot is rebounded by Bradley, who gives to Barnett. They're swarming attack. The Knickerbockers. You saw the Lakers go to Chamberlain, keeping in mind that Willis Reed has two personals. So the Lakers would like nothing better than to see Reed get his third or fourth uh, personal foul. Baylor moving on the top of the key. Whistle blows. Richie Powers. Spots a holding. Dave the foul. Busher, Chris. Right, number two, guarding Algin Baylor. And in, in that pick there, uh, he fouled uh, Jerry West. So it'll be West going to the foul line, number 44. And for the Busher, he has one foul. West from the field is two of six. He has seven points now for the Lakers as Dick Barnett, number 12. Barnett outside to Frazier. Loops one over to 
DeBusher, Bradley in the same area as they fled the zone with Reed joining them. Now it's Bradley. Rebound comes off to Garrett, number 20. Quickly over to Erickson. Reed on this move to the opposite end seemed to go a bit faster and went less. Chamberlain has the ball, double team. And here's Frazier. Frazier quickly to Bill Bradley. But Chris Reed is down. He twisted something on that last play at the other end, and he's having trouble with that leg. Red Holzman wants a timeout. It appears that Reed twisted that leg on that last exchange. Jerry West. He can't move at all. Look at Willis Reed. Right. Seven points now for Jerry West here at the Garden. Reed limping to the bench. And with two minutes and 19 seconds remaining in the first quarter of this NBA championship game, the score is New York 30, Los Angeles 19. Watch number 19, Willis Reed. This is the play, Chris, just before the timeout. Chamberlain with the ball. You notice Reed laying off. He has two personal fouls. But Chamberlain makes the play. And Reed jumps away and turns right here, right here. And it appears that going up on this play and coming down right here, right here. Look at him win. Right there, it appears, is where he twisted it. There he is. He's there back he is. out on the court at the opposite end. And if the Lakers can keep him going to his right, that puts pressure on the injured hip. So here now is Bill Bradley of the New York Knickerbockers at the top of the key. Chamberlain comes off for the rebound. He now has seven for the Lakers. Two minutes and four seconds remaining in the first quarter. I'll tell you, Chris, regardless of how this game comes out, we're seeing a tremendous display of courage on the part of Reed. He is really dragging that leg as he runs down the floor. And Chamberlain, as Bradley came by, knocked the ball away. Good retrieve as Erickson shoots. Keith Erickson, and here are the Knicks in a fast break. Two on two. Knocked away by Erickson. Away from Bradley, and Jerry West picks it up. Goes into the top of the key at the foul line. Chamberlain trying to rebound. And it's a foul on Chamberlain. That's Chamberlain's first. There he is, Will Chamberlain. With an offensive. Well, let's see. It's DeBusher going to the opposite end now to shoot the foul. That's a penalty situation is why we're shooting this right here. Normally, uh, the Knickerbockers would take the ball out of bounds, but in a penalty situation, you shoot everything. The Knicks are shooting 67% from the field. 45% for the Los Angeles Lakers and the Knicks at the foul line are red hot. In fact, they have not missed a foul shot thus far tonight with a minute 25 left in the first quarter. It's 32 to 21. And it comes to Chamberlain. Reed guarding him. And Wilkins. 32 to 23. A minute 14 left first quarter. Walt Frazier. 34, 23. And unlike when Wednesday night in Los Angeles, Frazier is shooting the ball. Jerry West losing it to Frazier. The fifth turnover. And Frazier is there. Back under the basket. Bradley and the Busher are there. And the Busher puts it in. 36, 23. 41 seconds. First quarter. Jerry West. The key in this quarter is Frazier. He has, as West drives through there, fouls on Dick Barnett. But the Knickerbockers have departed from their previous strategy of not allowing Frazier to shoot. He's shooting, he's going for the basket, he's looking at the basket, and they didn't do that up until this game in the playoffs. So they're allowing Walt Frazier to take charge, and it's been very effective. He's averaging 14 and a half points, Walt Frazier. Jerry West averaging 31.8 in the first six games. West now has eight points. And that's DeBusher rebounding, releasing it to Bradley. Bradley then gives to Frazier, guarded by Garrett. Frazier shoots. And the strategy works once more for the Knicks with 25 seconds first quarter. 15 points for Frazier, 
the largest lead of the night for the Knicks. You know that press is working when the forwards come out to break it. Baylor and Erickson. Chamberlain now. And good rebound by DeBusher. Long to Bradley. And time expired in the initial period. That's the end of the first quarter. We'll return to the second quarter for this NBA championship game live and in color from Madison Square Garden in New York in just one moment. The score, New York 38, Los Angeles 24. We're ready now for the second quarter as we look at the Knickerbocker bench. And as we look at that Knickerbocker bench, look at Walt Frazier. He's down on the end. He's 5 of 5 from the floor. He's 5 of 5 from the line. He has four assists, and he has taken charge here. What a great first quarter. And it, as equally important, he's keeping Garrett. There you see the statistics. He's keeping Garrett very busy, and Garrett has not been allowed to, to go free like he did in Wednesday night's game and get those open shots. So Walt Frazier is certainly the star of this first quarter. Here we go with the second quarter, and we have two substitutions, number six, Reardon, for Barnett, and Hairston, number 52, Los Angeles, for Elgin Baylor. This is Jerry West driving around to Reardon, and Reardon fouls Jerry on the play. Reardon's first foul, the very first bit of action. And for those of you that are watching NBA basketball and this series for the first time, bringing you up to date as Jerry shoots, it's been a close six-game series. One ended in double overtime, one ended in single overtime, one game was decided by one point, two were decided by two, and one was decided by four points. So, except for the game on Wednesday night, they have been close. Right now, the Knicks are out in front by 13. They have the ball. Willis Reed holding it. And Dave DeBusher is another shooting star. He has 12 points. He and Frazier have a total tonight of 27 of the 40 for New York. As Jerry West tries to get close, he gets outside to Hairston. Hairston back to West. West trying to get away from Reardon. Gives to Chamberlain, but it's stolen away by Frazier. Frazier number 10. And Bill Bradley gets the bucket. Frazier the assist. It's 42 to 25, a 17 point lead. And a lot has to be said for the Knicks defense as Garrett goes up. And there's Walt Frazier in disbelief. He must have hooked him as he came by. And this is a fan, as Reed comes over to cheer him up, here's a fantastic statistic. New York shooting from the field, 72%. And Joe Mullaney is up off the bench encouraging his team to settle down. They're being tremendously intimidated by this New York press, and they're departing entirely from their game plan. So Mullaney very anxious to quiet his team down and settle them down. Garrett has three points for the Los Angeles Lakers. Now four. They can get 42 to 27 with 10.53 left in the first half. And Frazier again controls the ball, the quarterback of the attack. And coming off the rebound is Will Chamberlain. Erickson was there just in case. He's dribbling the ball. West has it now. Garrett has it. He's guarded by Frazier. Back it goes outside to Erickson. Now Hairston loops one to Chamberlain. Reed trying to work on him. And Chamberlain having trouble hitting. And Reed goes off the floor and gets the rebound, his second. And you notice where Chamberlain has taken that shot from, about five feet further out than the other night. So Reed's strength is showing its effect. He's forcing him outside a little further. Save under the bucket by DeBusher who gives to Reardon. Reardon to Bradley. Good! <laughs> With timeout here in the second quarter, the score, New York 44, Los Angeles 27. Now we go live and in color from Madison Square Garden in New York and what often is a very blasé crowd at sporting events or the theater in New York City. This is a rabid crowd cheering on their uh, team, the Knickerbockers, as the Lakers have the ball and they trail by 17. 
Jerry West guarded by Reardon, who was the first New York substitute. Hap Harrison is, was the first for the Lakers as Garrett gets the ball from 25. No good. The Busher rebounds. Quickly to Reardon, Reardon to Frazier. Garrett gets the rebound for the Lakers. Stolen, bad pass by Garrett, too long. To Busher, a bounce pass to Reardon, it's good. Firehouse basketball by the Knickerbockers. 46 to 27. Uh, coming up to the nine minute mark of the first half. As we look at Hap Harrison. Looping one to Chamberlain. And to Erickson. So there you had the Lakers on the move a bit more. And Erickson was open. 46 to 29. Frazier and Rudin in the backcourt. We have Bradley, number 24, and DeBusher in the corners. Reed remains at center on a high post, gives to Reardon. Now to Bradley. West with the rebound. Good long pass to Garrett. Garrett guarded by DeBusher on a switch. Chamberlain couldn't get it. And Bradley drives toward the top of the key in the corner to Reardon. Reardon. Good. 48 to 29 and 18. Eight minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the first half. Erickson down to Hairston. Johnny Egan getting ready to come into the lineup for Los Angeles. Knocking in the way is Frazier. Controlled by Reardon. Reardon back to Frazier, number 10. Back to Reardon. To the busher. Good fake on West. And Chamberlain gets it off the defensive board. Jerry West. Bradley picks him up. West finds the range, making it 48 to 31. West now with 11 points. Slowing down the pace, and it's been terrific, is Frazier. Dave Stallworth waiting to come in for the Knickerbockers. Frazier. West with the rebound for the Lakers. Now they begin to move, but the quick hands of Frazier. Done it again. Point lead thanks to number 10, Walt Frazier, Dave DeBusher, and the swarming offense of New York. And as we listen to that crowd, you can't say enough the way that crowd has picked up this New York ball club. They have inspired this ball club. We saw them here on ABC on Wednesday evening. They're a totally different ball club here tonight, and you have to give a great deal of the credit to this great crowd here in New York. The foul was on Jerry West, and Frazier is good at the foul line. He has yet to miss from there tonight. 51 to 31, a 20-point lead. The Lakers had a 20-point lead on Wednesday night. Well, there's a violation across the divisional line, and it's the ninth Laker turnover. The pressure by Reardon caused that to happen. Stalworth is in the lineup now for the pusher. Egan is in the lineup for the Lakers. And Barnett has come in for Frazier. All right, now we have Erickson coming across the divisional line, picked up by Bill Bradley. Egan is on the opposite side of the court as Chamberlain gets the ball. His double team puts it in nonetheless. Chris, we said earlier that Willis had received 200 cc. It was reported to us that he had received 200. As it turns out, there was two cc of cortisone. 200 would be a little strong. He's big and strong, but not that strong. Well, the circus is in town here at Madison Square Garden. Jack, perhaps one of the elephants below us here, about five <laughs> stories could take it. And we're up here with the trapeze artists. We're a city block and five stories away from the playing court. Willis Reed now, quickly giving to number nine, Stallworth, in the lineup for the first time tonight. As we indicated, Barnett is back in, giving Frazier his first rest. There he is, number 12. Chamberlain comes out to guard Barnett on a switch. And the hook shot. And the Tennessee State star. And there's another benefit of having Reed in that lineup. You saw that set he picked on, put on Barnett, and Wilk Chamberlain had the switch. That was not occurring on Wednesday evening. 
Kazzy Russell getting ready to come in as the ball goes to Chamberlain. Chamberlain pushed by Reed, and a bad pass is taken by Barnett. It's three on two, but Mindy Rudolph blows his whistle, and a foul is called, a holding foul. Now it's Kazzy Russell, number 33, replacing Bradley, number 24. And going to the foul line, there you see the Knickerbocker bench. It's Barnett at the foul line. West committed the foul. Barnett has four points tonight. Formerly with the Los Angeles Lakers, he's a veteran in playoff competition. And now we have the biggest lead. Fifty six to thirty three six minutes and eight seconds remaining in the first half. Johnny Egan gets to the feel of the ball now. Having uh, substituted for Garrett as Chamberlain has it Reed looks ball goes to West whistles blow. And in the lineup John Tresvant number 14 replacing Erickson Barnett fouls Jerry West on the play there is Tresvant who uh, was very important a week ago tonight in Los Angeles Jack he sure was and Joe Mullaney with Johnny Egan in that backcourt trying to come up with some combination to effectively move that ball against this tenacious New York press uh, he's sacrificing scoring as we saw West make the first one but Getting that ball handling in there to move that ball around. Jerry West now with 13 points. He's having a little tough luck thus far from the field. He has hit on four of ten. Now Russell shoots for the first time, and West gets the rebound, number 44. Egan. Hairston. Short hit the net. Almost looked as though it went through. So that's Stallworth giving it over to Barnett. Barnett guarded by Hairston. Around he comes. <laughs> 59 to 35. 5.14 to go in the first half. Chamberlain back to Tresvant. And the Knicks. Mike Reardon with the rebound. Barnett. was Reed with the rebound giving over to Kazi Russell the ball still loose Stalworth saves it for New York gives to Reed stolen away there goes Hairston the Lakers are really having tough luck on many of their shots Jack they uh, rim it and well, almost come back out well that New York press is drawing out the forwards and they're taking those shots about 10 feet further out than they normally would and as a result they're not taking as good a percentage shot Chamberlain comes off with the ball for the Lakers. 425 left in the first half. A 22-point lead by New York. Egan directing the attack. From Tresvant to Chamberlain to Egan. Tresvant rebounding. The ball knocked away. Egan has it for a while, and he's joined by Cassie Russell. A jump ball, and Red Holtzman wants the Knicks to call time. Russell 33, Egan 21, Chamberlain 13, Barnett 12, Harrison 52, and what a pace. Timeout, Madison Square Garden, as the Knickerbockers lead the Los Angeles Lakers 59 to 37. Back again at the Garden, you see Wilt Chamberlain with eight points, ten rebounds, Reed with four points and four rebounds, but he has neutralized Chamberlain as compared to Wednesday night in Los Angeles. And here's another fact. New York has shot 40 times. They've made 24. Los Angeles has shot 38 times, making only 15. 59 to 37. Check the lineups for you now. The lineup, we have Trez Vant, Hap Harrison, Will Chamberlain, and Jerry West, along with Egan, who's jumping with number 33, Cassie Russell. Tresman controlling the ball for the Lakers. Trying to get away, double teamed, and that gnawing defense as Reardon 
controls it and is fouled under the basket. That's Stallworth, number nine. The Nick lineup, Stallworth, Reardon, Barnett, Reed, who stays at the opposite end, and Russell. The foul was on Tresvant, his first, as we look at Mike Reardon, a native of Long Island, who played at Providence College. So it means he was coached by the Laker head mentor, Joe Mullaney. Los Angeles with 12 turnovers, New York only five. 3.53 to go in the first half. The Knicks 60. The Lakers 37. Johnny Egan. Guarded by Reardon. West is guarded by Barnett. He gets loose. Chamberlain comes out now near the foul line. And the chant is defense. trying to get close as Frazier now will come back in Reardon who did a good job coming off the bench and don't forget Elgin Baylor is watching the game from the Los Angeles bench as Hairston gets it back after being touched by Chamberlain and Mindy Rudolph spots a foul Well, we're just checking here to find out what the call is. It's on uh, the Los Angeles Lakers, and Joe Mullaney is up, and he now wants an explanation from Richie Powers, and so do we. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was on Los Angeles, and for Laker fans, not good because the Knicks have the ball again, and Frazier, just back in the lineup, is guarded too closely by Egan, who gets his first foul. There is Joe Mullaney. One other note, uh, Willis Reed has effectively played the major part of the second quarter without getting that third foul. So he's been playing it cool, and it has paid off. So Reed, formerly in foul trouble, now not in foul trouble. Frazier with 18 points, 6 of 6 from the line, 6 of 8 field goal. Three minutes and 17 seconds left in the first half, 60 to 37, New York. Chamberlain and Hairston along the lane. Hairston will inbound the ball. The Knicks put on a press. West comes back to help break it. Watch closely by Barnett and White, number 12. Chamberlain comes to this side of the lane. Moves in on Reed. Shoots. No basket. Foul was called, and let's see if it's on Reed. Reed now has three personals as we uh, near the end of the first half. This is the 38th sellout of the year. And Nate Bowman comes in and they stand and applaud Willis Reed, who gets his first rest. Wow. Chamberlain is 0 for 4 from the foul line. So it'll be Nate Bowman, number 17 in white, going against Chamberlain. Second in all-time playoff rebound. We may have had a foul line violation, Jack, 